Okay, so um, I'm making this video uh, from my car. I apologize. Um, my my appearance isn't the greatest. I just got done working out and trying to lose weight, and uh, it's kind of a coping method. So um, I'm making this video because I think my story is important to share with people um, who who don't know their rights. Um, and what I'm what I'm re referring to is that. Um, I'm an American, um, I had a child with a German national, um, we were together for eight years almost, and I am currently in Germany, um, fighting for my ability to, uh, be a father. Um, it's, uh, it's not an easy process. Um, it's, it's, it's very difficult actually, and, uh, it's very, um, heartbreaking process to be quite honest. Uh, and, and I, I don't think that it would be this way with every single person, but unfortunately the person who I had a child with unknowingly, um, is making it more difficult than I'd ever imagined, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm making this for anybody who, man or woman, who, uh, possibly may have a child with a national of Germany who is not also a national theirself. Um, if you are not married, you have zero rights to your child. Um, make sure you set up the correct things, uh, the correct processes, so that you can have rights to your child. Because the the situation that I'm going through is honestly the one one of the most psychologically damaging um, things that I've probably ever been through in my entire life. Um, so I don't wish this on anybody. I really don't. Um, it is not for everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's it's been unbelievably difficult. And I have really no support other than my family back home. Um, my, my amazing wife-to-be, my friends. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's a very difficult thing, you know, to do. Um, so to give you the gist of the story, I, I met someone when I was over here, my family was stationed over here. I, uh, met somebody through a dating app and, uh, this person seemed a hundred percent genuine, seemed like a great person to spend my life with. Um, fast forward, um, I was in, I got put inside of the Middle East. I was a contractor out there and, uh, I, you know, we, we started talking while I was actually in the Middle East. She came to visit me for the first time ever, never had met me before, um, came to the Middle East to meet me. Um, we hit it off immediately, kept in contact, kept seeing each other from time to time. I would come to Germany. She would come to the Middle East. Um, and, uh, I eventually, after a year of being with her, asked her to marry me. Um, she had promised me that she wanted to move to the United States. And, uh, uh, about a month or so after we got engaged, um, she came true and said that she never wanted to move to the United States. Um, I had broke it off with her at this point because I, I didn't see a point in being in a relationship with somebody that I wasn't going to be with. And so, um, rewind a little bit, sorry. Um, the entire time we were together that year, she told me that she wanted a child and that it wouldn't matter if I took care of the child with her. She just wanted a child that all of her friends had children and she always wanted to be a mother. And I, I kept telling her, 
Um, I was 21, I think 22, um, that I, I wasn't really prepared for that in my life at that moment, that I wanted to continue working out in the Middle East because I was making good money and, um, you know, I wanted to secure a future, uh, build a house or have a house, um, be financially stable, get a career going, um, et cetera. So back to where we were, uh, we split off, um, about a month later, she told me that she was pregnant, uh, and that it was mine. Um, I asked her how it could be because she had told me she was on birth control. Um, she then told me she wasn't on birth control, that she had missed a day or two. And then, um, not to bore her with any more, but it ended up being that she had missed for three months. Um, so she had planned on me getting her pregnant and uh, didn't include me on this decision. Um, so I, I left my job in the Middle East, um, you know, and then we, we continued on and said, you know, she should move to the United States because I could make a better future for us um, in the U.S. than she could um, for us in Germany. And uh, that was the agreed upon thing. So for the next four years, we, we saw each other. Uh, I would fly to Germany. She would fly um, to the United States. Of course, I was paying for everything. And uh, it, uh, you know, the whole time I was, I was there trying to see my daughter. Um, after about four years of doing this, I honestly, I, I didn't know if I actually loved her anymore. But I knew that if I didn't keep up the facade, um, that she would take my child away from me and wouldn't allow my child to come to the United States anymore. Um, she also had lied to me when my daughter was born and um, I wasn't on my daughter's birth certificate, which thank God to this day that I found out when I did because I made her put me on the birth certificate. Um, for those of you who don't know, when a child's born in the United States, unless the parent, one of the parents is abusive, uh, uh, um, a convict or something, um, then, then, you know, both parents have rights to the child. And so that was my understanding. Um, I didn't know that I didn't have rights to my daughter until, uh, year seven. Um, when I, you know, uh, my ex and I broke up and, um, I, I can't say legally who she is because I, I don't want any hate to go her way. Um, as much as I dislike this person and, um, just wish that it were different, uh, you know, Germany has its laws, so they protect their people, which is fine. And, uh, like I said, I don't want any bad to come to her. I just, I'm making this video so, so more people can become knowledgeable. Um, so, you know, um, after about year four or five, I believe, um, she told me that she no longer wanted to move to the States. I attempted to find a job in Germany, um, so that I could be with them, with my daughter, more importantly, and, uh, application after application, I got declined. Uh, COVID happened, just more declines, more declines. Um, and that brings us to today. Um, so I've, I've been in Germany since December of 2022. Um, I, I got an apartment because, uh, my lawyer at the time told me that I had to live here in Germany, that it was going to take two plus years, um, before I could get into a court, um, come to find out he was a, a complete scammer. Um, and, um, he couldn't even practice in, in the area that my daughter lives in. Uh, and he was going to refer me to another one that could help me. Uh, so I wasted $3,500, um, for nothing with him. Um, so, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough situation to be in. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't want to be a dad when, when I was younger. I never, I didn't grow up with a dad. I had a stepdad, but. That, that didn't 
really work out very well. Um, you know, we were bounced from location to location being a military family. Um, so I, I, I never really was able to connect with my dad. My dad wanted probably nothing to do with me. And to this day, probably still doesn't want anything to do with me, which is, which is fine in itself. But I never wanted to have a child that would, uh, that would have to go through that. So, um, you know, that's why I didn't want a child because I didn't know if the mother and I were going to stay together and, um, I didn't want a child to hurt, you know, um, and now I, I believe that my daughter is being turned against me, you know, a few f <laughs> months ago, even my daughter and I had a fantastic relationship, you know, she always wanted to see me and now I'm, I'm being told that she doesn't know if she wants to see me all the time anymore and, uh, she doesn't want to come visit me. Um, because she's afraid, essentially. Um, and it's all because her mother and, uh, her mother's, uh, honestly, new boyfriend is part of this as well. Um, I, I have no doubt in my mind that they are feeding her, um, bad things about me. And, uh, I, I mean, all I've ever tried to do was be, be there for her as much as I can, as much as I financially can, as much as I, uh, physically can. Um, if you're an American, unless you're in the top 1%, you know that, you know, we don't get very much vacation. We're a, uh, country that's all about the dollar. Um, so you may get two weeks, you may get a week, you may get three weeks, four weeks, whatever it may be. Luckily I'm in the position right now where I, uh, I'm, a I'm working for for my wife actually who or wife to be who owns her own business and uh that's the only reason I've been able to be here for as long as I have and uh sorry um I just, uh, I don't, I don't want anybody to have to go through this. So if you know anybody that, that may be with a foreign person, um, in, in Europe, in Germany, rather that is, I don't, I don't know the laws of other countries, but I can imagine that they're quite similar. Um, you know, you guys can share this video as much as you want. You can, uh, let people know. Um, I'm not looking for anybody to give me a handout. I'm not looking for anybody to uh, support me other than, you know, the only way I can ask for support is that you let other people know. If this reaches somebody and it helps somebody, um, it would be the greatest thing ever. You know, uh, it's... I don't, I, I don't want anybody to have to go through this, you know, know your rights, know, know what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do, um, with your child, because I have, I have zero, um, I've, I've been to court now twice to, to try, just try and see my daughter and be a part of her life. And her mother is supposed to support that relationship and, and she keeps taking it away, um, as much as she possibly can, because again, you know, she's asked me multiple times to, to get off my daughter's birth certificate so that I have nothing, completely nothing to do with her. Um, and unfortunately the counseling system over here is, is not the wisest. Uh, I, I mean, no disrespect to that, but I mean, it's blatant to see that she doesn't want me to be a part of her life and and because not because I'm a bad dad I'm I'm I've never been to jail I've never done drugs I've never I've never committed any crimes I've never hurt my daughter I would never put her in any type of danger um so the only reason that I can imagine that that she's doing the things that she's doing is because she's either still jealous that I'm with someone else now or she knows that it's the only way that she can continue to hurt me. 
and uh, make me make me try and leave my daughter, which I'll continue to fight. You know, she deserves it. And, uh, and I feel bad for for any dad or mom that has to go through this that you know uh there's so many parents in this world that want nothing to do with their kids you know they don't they don't even want to drive 5 minutes to see their kids their kids want to see them and uh here I am. And again, I'm, I'm not asking for a pat on the back. I'm not asking for somebody to give me an award or anything. Um, but you know, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, it's an, it's a nine hour flight from, from the U S to Germany, depending on where you're coming from. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> where I'm coming from, it's a nine hour flight. Uh, and like I said, I'm not working right now. I have no income coming in. I'm spending all of my savings to be here. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, all I want is to be my daughter's father. You know, I just I just want her to know that I love her. And, and, and unfortunately, I'm being fought at every single angle. So... Uh, I hope I hope that somebody gets this that needs it. And uh you know if you are if you're out there fighting for your child, don't give up. Don't give up. They need you. You know, and uh if you're a part of your child's life right now, stay in it. Stay in it. Cuz you know, she's she's only 8 right now. Or she's about to be eight, and she doesn't realize the importance of of you know family and everything. But you know, hopefully one day she will, and uh, hopefully one day she'll she'll realize how hard I've tried to be there for her, and uh, how much I've sacrificed to to be here for her. And it's not really a sacrifice. I would imagine that any parent who loves their child would do this. You know. Um, it's it's not a sacrifice. It's my it's my job. So share this. Um, let people know, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully it reaches somebody, um, or it touches somebody else that you know this may be going through the same thing. Uh, just keep trying, keep fighting, keep going. They need you. And although it feels like she doesn't need me right now, you know, she's young. She doesn't really know. She's just doing what she's being told. Um, and so keep going. Keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep fighting until there's no more fight, until the last breath leaves my body. And, uh, sorry, like I said, sorry, I'm, I just left the gym and, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry about being so emotional, but it, it does, it does hurt bad. It hurts real bad. So, all right. Good luck if you're out there and you needed to see this or, uh, it helps you. And anyway, good luck. Keep fighting. Thank you for your time.